Good morning. Okay, so the FTSE 100 on the European Open. Okay, guys, in terms of intraday trading, I'll be looking for probably short positions intraday in the morning session. Again, we've got to wait for it to go back and retest the previous resistance level, i.e. the previous high, and that was achieved literally 10 minutes ago. Okay, so support, well, support was reached at approximately 5 a.m., so again, we've got to wait for it to either retest the previous low, i.e. support, or retest the previous high, i.e. resistance, before we can then play the reversal. So it's a case of waiting to see, because at the moment it has pulled back. So got a nice short position in pre-market. So hopefully it'll go back to retest, preferably the, um, the previous resistance level. Um, I definitely prefer going short at the moment. Right, okay, here we go. Longest minute in history, isn't it? Waiting for the open. The last minute. It'll be interesting to see what this does, considering there's been a bit of a rally over the last number of hours. Wouldn't be surprised if there's a decent pullback. Okay. That looks like it wants to go bullish. Okay. Immediately rejected. What a massive, massive rejection to the resistance level. Look at the size of that rejection. That is huge. It looks like it wants to try and push up. Yeah, it's continuing to push up. This is going to um, this is going to set us up nicely for also um, an intraday short. If you fancy an intraday short, okay. So I'm looking to go. Actually, I'm looking to go in on this candle. It still is quite bullish, though. So just be careful. Okay, massive, massive rejection that time. Massive, massive rejection. starting to slow down now there has been a decent amount of volume in this open and um, it has been quite volatile you can see that the price action was reasonably fast but it really did push away from that opening price and um, which again I'm quite surprised I was expecting it to pull back because of the previous uh, bullish moves that we've had since kind of like 5 a.m. But you can see now that it is being rejected more so now to the resistance level. You can see that it's starting to run out of steam. Yeah, some lovely rejections there to resistance level. And the rejections are getting much bigger as well. You can see that the rejections are much, much bigger. But it is, it's still trying to go back to retest the previous high. Look, it's still trying to go back to retest, but it's continuing to get rejected at the resistance level. But it's still trying. Yep, okay, so it has pushed higher. Continuing to get rejected. I mean, at some point, this will fall pretty quickly. But it is still trying to retest the previous high. It's still trying to make a new high. And it did slightly on this candle. It slightly made a, um, a new high. But you can see that it is continuing to get rejected. Much stronger rejection now to a resistance level. So I mean, this is a nice setup to not just scalp trade, but this is also a nice setup to take an intraday trade. So remember guys, you don't have to scalp all the time. You know, if you this is a really nice setup to take a, an intraday trade. So if you fancy an intraday trade, this is a nice setup. Because look at the, um, Look at the space, okay? Look at that gap that has to be filled since what? 5 a.m.? You can see there, there's a massive gap that has to be filled and it will be filled at some stage. So it's a nice setup to take an intraday trade or scalp. And obviously, when you take an intraday trade, you reduce your risk because you're not using as big a position size as what you do when you scalp trade. So it just depends on your preference. It depends um, how confident you're feeling today. You know, you don't have to use the same position sizes all the time. You know, you tweak it. You tweak it to how you're feeling, or how you think the market is, or what your risk appetite is. Some some days your risk appetite is not what it is on other days. So you have to tweak it to suit your own personality, to suit how you're feeling on that particular day, that particular week. So this is um. This is a long trade. This one. 
for a scalp but anyway it's a long trade obviously it's not a long trade if you're intraday trading but certainly if you're scalp trading this this is um this is an eternity isn't it because we like to get out in seconds so the longer the the the, the scalp trades go on the more uncomfortable it is So the position that I'm taking this morning, I wouldn't describe it as a scalp size position. I would more say that it's a kind of an, an intraday trade. A fairly big intraday trade, but um, but this is why I'm saying that this particular setup is very, very good. You know, you can you can have multiple approaches to this type of setup and a, a scalp trade. Is, is a great setup, also an intraday trade. It's um, it's extremely slow, isn't it? Very, very slow. It's really, really running out of um. It's really running out of steam. So the plan for this, guys, is I'm going to hold this. It's a, it's an intraday trade that I've taken, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this probably for the next half an hour or something. Hopefully we'll see a nice pullback. Um, but that's the that's the plan for this morning. If anybody took a scalp size position, you would have taken maybe three points or something like that. So I mean, from for me this setup, you know, it's it's primed to hold a little bit longer. So that's why I've decided to take it an intraday trade approach okay guys that that's the uh, that is the plan for this morning short positions intraday in the morning session apart from that we go again this afternoon the dow jones and the us open okay so i'm going to continue to hold this and we'll come back to this in a while hopefully we'll get a nice pullback maybe to about this area take a few points Okay, so we're back. We are back. So, 200 odd euro. I'm just going to take profit on that. Beautiful. Nice pullback. It, it went back exactly to the space that I thought it would. Okay, I'll take that. So, 226. So, I'm actually just going to let my Telegram group know that I've exited that position. Okay, so what was it? Eight points, I think it was. I think it was eight points. Okay, guys. So, nice example of a an intraday trade. You can see why I decided to take an intraday style approach instead of scalp trading it because um, we've got this massive gap to fill. Now, initially, I did say that I thought the price might pull back to this area. Okay, so. That's exactly where I've taken pro where I've taken um, profit. I can't speak this morning. It must be all the all the sun I got at the weekend. So, but this is a really nice setup for a, an intraday trade or a scalp trade. But again, you know, when when you think that you can gain more points and you can hold it for longer, it makes sense to have an intraday style approach. And again, there was a massive gap here that had to be filled, so I was very confident that this trade would be profitable, and it was. So, I also um, I also alerted my Telegram group that I had taken that trade as well. By the way, um, so they also profited from this nice little intraday trade. So now we um, now we go back to intraday trading again, and we wait for the next setup. And this is how the um, Telegram group works. We wait for the correct setup, we take the trade, we liquidate, and then we look for the next setup again. So that was a pretty decent trade. Yeah, if I'd have held it for longer, I'd have got some more profit, but you know, it's okay to leave money on the table. You know, it's, 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 I would rather leave money on the table and come out profitable than try and wait too long to gain too many points and then end up taking a loss, so quite happy with that so that's not bad you know I don't have a target every day but I would suppose 
my average is probably about a thousand euro a day. So I've already made over 200 just on this trail alone. So that's a good start to the day. So that is how the um, Telegram group works. If you wish to join, you can DM me on my Instagram, or if you wish to join the Sambora Trading Community, you can DM me on my Instagram, sambora.00, or you can email me at wiredoutsambora at yahoo.com. Nice start to the day, now we continue.